Now, you will recall a couple of weeks ago, my fellow Harvard Law alum, Alvin Bragg, indicted Donald Trump. I posted about the indictment on my Instagram page. And in that post, I said, Donald Trump has finally met his match. A tough New York prosecutor raised in Harlem, who still lives in Harlem, who trained at Harvard Law, and who himself had been the subject of racial profiling and police violence while he was growing up. Well, today, I'm proud to say not only has Trump met his match, but so has his lackeys. After Trump's indictment, Trump's sycophants on Fox News took to the airwaves to express their outrage and to verbally harass D.A. Bragg. And to further thwart the indictment, the GOP committee chairs in Congress started threatening to actually investigate Bragg. Now, this is a state district attorney elected by the people in New York, or a county district attorney, I should say, elected by the people in New York. And this is GOP congressmen threatening to investigate him. They even threatened to subpoena him and some of the folks that used to work in his office. Now, given what we just saw in Tennessee, I would say that Jim Jordan and Kevin McCarthy and those guys in Congress were trying to teach this black DA from New York a lesson about taking a shot at the king. But Brad, he stood firm and he vowed not to succumb to the mob-like conduct of Trump and his crew. And today, Brad went even further. He took a page right out of Donald Trump's own playbook and in an extraordinary and brilliant move, he sued Republican Jim Jordan. Now, he went into federal court and he asked the court to prevent Jordan from interfering in his state criminal case against Donald Trump. In this 50-page, again, I'll say it, brilliant lawsuit, Brad correctly states that Jordan's attack on him and his office are a brazen and unconstitutional attack and a transparent campaign to intimidate and attack Bragg as he does his official duties, which is to follow the facts and to indict folks like Donald Trump when they engage in criminal conduct. Bragg's office has received over 1,000 calls and emails from Trump supporters making racially charged threats towards him and the other members of his office. Bragg's lawsuit seeks to bar Jordan from enforcing a subpoena that was sent to a former employee. Now get this, this employee said, there's evidence that Trump fraudulently inflated the value of his assets. So I don't even know why Jordan and crew want to subpoena this former prosecutor, but they do. And the court has set a hearing date on the issuance of that subpoena and the allegations in the lawsuit filed by D.A. Bragg for April 19th. And I'll say in the words of Malcolm X, the chickens are coming home to roost. When we come forward, today's trending news with my expert contributors right here on KBLA Talk 1580.